Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if the Windows Store is not working or won't open issue on your Windows computer. So this could be a somewhat common issue you guys are experiencing on your Windows 10 device. So we're going to go through a couple different methods on how to hopefully resolve this issue without too much of a hassle. So we're going to start by opening up a web browser. It doesn't matter which one, but I'm going to bump Google Chrome for this tutorial here. And the first thing I'd recommend trying is navigating over to a Microsoft help file or help support page in the description of the video. So I'd recommend clicking on that. It'll take you to a Microsoft troubleshooter. You want to left go and run troubleshooter on this page. So it will help hopefully fix problems with apps from the Microsoft Store. Once it's finished downloading, you just want to left go on it once to begin running it. Should say troubleshooting help prevent computer problems, Windows Store apps, troubleshoot problems that may prevent Windows Store apps from working properly. The left click on this advanced button right here, and you want to make sure apply repairs automatically is checkmarked. Left click on next. And now this will take a couple moments, so just be patient. So you might have a pop-up that says sign in with a Microsoft account. Let's say we didn't want to do that, so I just select next here. But it would recommend if you did, I'd recommend trying it. So changes have been made and need to restart your PC. So please save your work and restart your PC after the troubleshooter finishes. So I'll have to go on next. So again, just coming up on Microsoft account listed here. So I would recommend that you guys heed the advice here, restart your computer, do whatever the troubleshooter recommends. Now if that does not find anything, I'd recommend opening up the Start menu and type in PowerShell. One of the best managers should say Windows PowerShell. You want to right click on it and then left click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control window, you want to left click on Yes. And now in the description of the video, I'm going to have a command in here. So I want you to copy it out of the description. So just Control C or right click Copy. And now the top bar of the Windows PowerShell window, you want to right click left click on edit and then left click on paste then you want to hit enter to begin running that and this process will take a few minutes to run so just be patient
Okay guys, so once it's done, it might have run into an error. You might have a little bit of red here. It just seems that it got caught up on one app here. So no big deal if you got a little bit of red, but once you have a blinking cursor, I would recommend closing out of here and opening up the star menu and then trying to open up the Windows Store again. So just type in Store here, Trusted Microsoft Store app. I recommend left clicking to open it up and see if you're able to get back into the Microsoft Store. Now if that has not resolved your issue and you're not even getting to a page that looks like this, I'd recommend closing out of here, going back over to Star Menu, type in System Restore. Best Manage should say Create a Restore Point, left click on that. And now if protection was on, you would have an option to go underneath System Restore here and I'd recommend restoring back to an earlier point in time. Now, if you're unable to have any restore points on your computer, I'd recommend then going opening up the star menu again, type in CMD. Best match should say command prompt right above desktop app. Right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control window, you want to left click on yes. Now it's this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word listed here. So again, SFC space forward slash scan now. Now you want to enter. And now this will run a check of your system drives and I would recommend that it will take some time to run. So I'd recommend doing that, just seeing if that finds anything as well. And then again, try and open up the Windows Store and hopefully that would have resolved your problem as well. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And as always, thanks for watching and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.